Uh, the video shot over the weekend in Carlsbad shows a motorboat dangerously speeding through the water, then running ashore with a group of people on board just jumping out and running away. Uh, CBS 8's Richard Allen tells us this, these leaders are asking for and the challenges current state law pose. And local leaders say this weekend's incident is one of a growing number of maritime smuggling incidents along San Diego beaches. They're now calling for action from both Sacramento and Washington, D.C. on both sides of the political aisle. What the f It was a very coordinated effort. The video shows a speedboat barreling toward the Carlsbad shore Saturday morning, eventually beaching itself on land. First, I'm thinking how dangerous it was. There was no regard for public safety for surfers or people who are in the water at the time or even on the beach. A group of people run off the boat heading into this Carlsbad Village neighborhood where they're whisked away by SUVs that appear to be waiting for them. We don't know who these people are. We don't know where they went or where they're going. Local leaders are sounding the alarm, calling on state and federal officials to step up enforcement of illegal boat landings like this one on San Diego beaches. The chaos at the border and the fact that many of these crossers know there will be no consequences here encourages this and it makes our cities less safe. They're calling for increased Coast Guard patrols and greater investment in equipment, personnel and technology to monitor and intercept unauthorized vessels. We must do better and we must do better now. From 2020 to 2023, according to Customs and Border Protection, maritime smuggling here in California has increased by 139 percent to nearly 740 reported incidents last year. My real concern is um, human trafficking, what are they bringing in with them, uh, what drugs, weapons, and who's on the terror watch list that's coming in via boats? This should be a bipartisan issue. This is, should not be a left or right issue. In fact, Democratic Congressman Mike Levin today called on House Speaker Mike Johnson to bring a maritime border security bill to the House floor for a vote, which would double the range in which CBP agents could operate to address migrants and other vessels arriving by water along our coast. We need to enforce our immigration laws as opposed to just letting people come here illegally and then we don't do anything about it. But that can be challenging, according to these local leaders, because of SB 54, that statewide legislation that currently forbids local law enforcement from working with federal agencies like ICE and Border Patrol on immigration enforcement.